Hey, how you doing, man? Welcome to Music Motivation Ministries, man. And today, we're talking about what is a man of God? Who is a man of God? What is a prophet? Who is a prophet? What is an apostle? Who is an apostle? You feel me? So, before we start, Let's say a prayer. Heavenly Father, Lord, please be my mouth, my ears, my eyes, my thoughts, my mind, my heart, my spirit, my soul. Be my hands, my feet, my body. And let everything be your words and not mine. In the name of Emmanuel, because the Holy Spirit of God is with me. My God, Jehovah, will stand up for his holy name. Emmanuel. Okay, so before I start, I would like to give, give you, start with release. What is religion? Now, religion is defined to be the belief in and worship of a superhuman controlling power, especially as personal God of gods. See, religion is your belief in a higher being, in a higher power, a superhuman power. And what is superhuman? Superhuman, having a shown exceptional abilities or power. See, your belief in a superhuman power, something that's having an exponential ability, exceptional ability or power, or force beyond your understanding. Maybe, maybe may be a demonic spirit that does levitation or angelic spirit or God spirit or devil spirit. See, a worship of a being that's superhuman is called a religion. But With this religion, that's just what it is called. That's what it is identified by, right? But at the same time, not only do God say, worship me, he also says, get to know me. See, religion is the worship and belief in or of something superhuman with exceptional powers beyond man's comprehension. But relationship is the history and the bond you build with somebody or something. Now, who's a holy man? What does it mean to be religious? Spiritual, but not religious. I don't understand what they mean by that. Because if you're spiritual, you are religious. You feel me? God is spirit. So to be in tune with God or get the attention of God, you have to be spiritual. 
You have to want to learn how to be spiritual. And when you're being spiritual, you will worship. You are performing a form of worship. You are worshiping your maker or God that you serve. Now, what is a holy man? A holy man is someone who is exceptionally religious, close to God. See, when you are close to God, you are in the spirit. See, there's a way that you walk in the flesh and you can walk in the spirit, just like Romans said. See, a holy man is a spiritual man. He's close to God. God is a spiritual being, superhuman, spiritual. Whatever God you claim to serve, you say is spiritual. But the one true God is creator of all who created them in through in his spirit. See, that's why I tell people, these are the gods that you serve or witches and wizards that you call yourself, you serve. They're made in the image of the one true God because you say you serve them in spirit and you're a native doctor or you're a root worker, or you're a witch, or you're a wizard, or whatever you do may be, Illuminati personnel, you worship the devil, you have to be in spirit. They are in the form of God. God, Jehovah, Allah, is a spiritual being because in the beginning, say, in the beginning, God created the heavens and earth, and the spirit of God hovered above the waters. See, that's what I'm talking about. So, those gods that you claim to serve are made in the image of the true God. So, they are not gods because they did not create themselves. The true God, Jehovah, created So when you're close to God, you're spiritual. Now, what is a man of God? A man of God is a holy man. As we just learned that a holy man is someone that's close to God. And how can you be close to God? You can't be close to God in the spirit. Now, how can you get in the spirit? You can get in the spirit through fasting, praying, studying the word, pondering on the word, meditating on the word of God, and asking for the promise of Emmanuel. See, when you ask God for the promise to be with you of Isaiah, the Spirit of God activates and you will know because your life will change. There will be a change in your life. There will be a fullness in your life and a completion in your life. So that's why I say a man of God is someone close to God with God. It's someone that God is with. Without God with him, he cannot be a man of God. See, a man of God, this definition is in his name itself. Man of God. Man of God. Someone that God is with. I'll be back. Part two.